Hi, and thanks for watching this short video from Steeple Autos Limited uh, of our Citroen C1 VTR Plus. So the car has had two owners from you, uh, and service history is pretty healthy. So there's six stamps in it before the one that I've just had done. So uh, there's a service completed at the end of February this year. The MOT currently runs till July, but it is booked in for the end of the month to be done again. So you will have a serv uh, sorry, you will have an MOT right through till March next year. Uh, so I'm just about to sanitise the car. Uh, it's been cleaned and anti-backed, uh, and as you can probably hear from the hailstones hitting hitting the roof today, uh, it's been a bit of a fight against the weather. Um, so enjoy the video. Uh, two keys, HPI clear, obviously. Enjoy the video, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So here's a quick exterior scan of this uh, 60 plate Citroen C1. Uh, it's the VTR Plus uh, with the addition of air conditioning. Uh, so you've got a couple of other little bits which you get over the 107 and iGo siblings um, which is a actual glove box rather than just a little shelf uh, and a centre armrest as well which I'll show you in a second. So it's a 60 plate, uh, I've got plates on order, the front plate was cracked so uh, hence there not being one on there at the moment. So there is the odd little mark on the car as you'd expect. Um, but generally it's really nice. Sorry, I'm trying to video between storms today. So uh, we'll start to get wet and so I haven't cleaned the wheels off, but you'll see from the photos what the wheels are like. So there's the actual number plate if you want to check out insurance and stuff. and that is the exterior so as we move into the boot uh, you have the parcel shelf string intact uh, there are some mats with the car which I've got I've just put in the boot here rather than in the car uh, and then you have your spare so everything dry under there uh, if you've done research into C1s, 107s and IGOs uh, you will understand that they suffer occasionally with water ingress in the boot. Uh, so I have replaced the high-level brake light as a precautionary measure. So now we're in the car, uh, escaping the storm. Uh, there's the glove box. So I've cleaned the car inside. Uh, you can see there, seat's a little damp where I've uh, cleaned it still so everything gets anti-backed uh, to start with all plastic and fabric surfaces uh, and then uh, then I will set off a, a sanitizer in here an antiviral sanitizer which uses the ventilation system to circulate it basically to every point of the car inside so just starting it up so you can see the only lights that are, that are on there are your um, seatbelt warning light and your handbrake light. So mileage as we stand today is 54,642 miles. I don't know if you heard the engine note change there, but just showing you that the air com compressor is uh, working and drawing from the engine. Again. So you have air conditioning, remote locking with two keys, electric windows in the front, as well as a stereo with a normal auxiliary input there. Uh, and the rev counter as well. So you've got height adjustment to the steering wheel, and here you have the centre armrest, which you don't get on the Toyota and Peugeot models, certainly none that I've seen so far. There you go, that's the inside of the car.